Hey guys, we're back. Guess what? We got some tea for you guys. I'm Caramel Real. Y'all y'all already know what it is. I'm Caramel Real. Out here in these streets giving them hell. Yes, yes, yes. It's Thursday. We got some tea for y'all today, guys. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. What's been going on? Y'all ready for this tea? Y'all ready to get into it? Go ahead, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload some new videos. Because y'all know I'm going to keep them coming. Y'all already know we got some good commentaries. We got some good news for you guys today, guys. Some good tea. We're going to be on it, honey. We're going to be talking about Pastor John Gray out here shenanigating in these streets with these women, guys. He back out here, y'all. He out here still acting a fool like John Gray. Like you ain't learned nothing from the first dog on time. Bruh, you might need to hang up your robe, honey. You might need to turn your Bible in. You might need to go on home and be like, look, I, I, I can't do this no more, y'all. You might need to let your congregation know I can't do this no more. I, I need to go get some help, honey. All right? His wife is sticking by him, honey. She is staying in there, honey, because she's just like, look, I'm getting Lambos. I'm getting the jewelry. I'm getting, you know, she getting all these little materialistic stuff, and it's making it hard for her to leave. You know, he got two children by her. You know. That Lambo, honey, got some staying power, allegedly. We're going to get into this story. Because, baby. 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 Yeah. One of them. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on something else today, guys. I'm ready to get into this. I'm ready to act a fool today. Y'all ready for this? Let's get into it says that Pastor John Gray is being accused of cheating on his wife once again, y'all. Now, the, the YouTuber that broke this story, we're going to go ahead and give her her props. Thank you so much for putting this tea out there, honey. Miss Tasha K, thank you so much, honey, for, for digging up this tea, baby. Because, hey, yeah. Uh, it says, last week, honey, Tasha K, popular YouTuber, you guys know who she is, posted a video calling out popular South Carolina pastor of Relentless Church after allegedly having a personal conversation with a woman claiming to be the religious leader's mistress. What you doing with a mistress as a pastor is what we want to know, okay? What you doing with a mistress and you got a whole wife at home and two chairing? Mm-hmm. We about to dig into it. This is what the mistress had to say, okay? She says that he's sending me cash apps mm -hmm. with the church's money. Say so he's going to move me to Atlanta. He's going to buy me a house and he's going to buy me a car. This is what the mistress told Tasha K. okay, when she talked to her. Now, you, you taking up uh, money from the offering from the good old church. And flying out your little side chicks and mistresses, honey, for your own little personal uh, pleasures, it looks like. Is this why the, the, the uh, 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 offering done started going around the third time so we can keep these flights up? So we can buy these cars and houses? Like, what's going on? John Gray out here making these kind of moves in these streets, okay? Yeah. Says that uh, the vlogger explained that, uh, that the alleged mistress claimed that she had a virtual, that she had virtual sessions with the pastor for a month before realizing that he was the well-known Pastor John Gray. B.S. Okay. For a month, I think you knew who he was, honey. Virtual sessions, you know. Come on. Come on, come on. Says that Tasha claims that the woman was virtually pleasing Gray over the phone and being told she would receive all material possessions. How you pleasing somebody over the phone, girl? She must have some serious skills. She's supposed to be like a masseuse. How you how you massaging him through the phone, honey? I ain't never had no phone massage. Yet. Yeah, ain't never had no phone massage. That's that's some other stuff. <sighs> Y'all ever had a phone massage? Go in, go in the comments, let me know. Have y'all ever had a phone massage? Somebody ever reached through the phone, honey, and got that back? You little tensed up right here in the shoulder, and they reach through the phone and grab you right here and be like, oh. and you be laying there on the table like, oh, Lord, yeah, that's the spot right there. Oh, yeah. Dig a little deeper right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. They hit that spot through the phone. Y'all ever had that happen? Me either. Anyway. 
says, but after pleasing Gray, the alleged mistress was left dissatisfied. Oh, guess you was over the phone, honey. He can't touch you through the phone. Uh, so fellow YouTube uh, personality, personality, Larry Reed stepped into the situation um, and got some clarity on the alleged affair. What kind of clarity was that? Okay. This is what he had to say. He said, I know that Pastor John Gray is not wicked. B.S. Um, but he's wounded. Allegedly. Um, said that um, he's just not telling his whole story. Well, what story do you have to tell? I did some digging. Okay. Um, he was sexually abused as a child. And it's, it's said that he's still kind of dealing with those as an adult, which is probably why he's, you know, out here doing the things that he's doing. But my thing is, you know, uh, the things that happened to you as a child and you know that this is a problem for you. I per se would say that you may want to step down and, and go through some therapy for some months or so until you can kind of get through what you're going through because standing up Sunday after Sunday after Sunday after Sunday trying to speak over people and put a sermon together and act like everything is okay, I, I, I don't see it. I feel like you might need to step down for a bit and, and, you know, have maybe an associate pastor kind of feel in for you while you go off and get the necessary therapy that you need because you're ruining your reputation for steady being in the media time after time with these women. Like the first situation, you know, you invited the woman to come to your house because your wife was out of town at the time visiting her family. So you invited this woman to fly in and come and see you at your house. But then you claim that you did nothing at that situation as well. So now you're claiming that with this particular masseuse situation, this second situation, that it was only virtual. Well, my thing is, first of all, it starts with the phone call. You want to talk to this person and see how they're talking, if they're going in the same direction that you're going and looking for the same thing that you're looking for. Then you're going to want to see this person, okay? So then that's when the video calls and all that's going to happen. So then you're going to get tired of the videos. You're going to get bored of the videos. And at some point, you're going to want some physical contact, OK, so that's when the whole, oh, I'm going to move you to Atlanta. I'm going to buy you the house, the car, the blah, 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 blah. I want you close to me because now you're tired of the virtual sessions. You ready for the physical sessions. OK, now, I don't know what wifey's doing at home. OK, I don't know what she's doing at home or if she's doing anything at home or hell, if she's even home. You don't bought her the Lambo. She probably out here in these streets like this here. While you home on the virtual sessions. OK, out here riding around and getting it while you home. Getting it. Yeah. So uh, it says that um, Reed touched on the deep rooted pain that Pastor Gray is possibly experiencing personally that he is not comfortable sharing with the public. OK. Um, after speaking with the alleged mistress, uh, it says that Reed says to the woman that he never that she never uh, met Gray personally. OK, so it sounds like it, that it was something that was just over the phone. All right. And that her late that her relations with him were strictly virtual. That's still cheating, though. Phone conversations. People need to realize if you calling somebody having inappropriate conversations, that's cheating. You on virtual calls, showing body parts and doing little nasty little things. That is also called cheating. You don't physically have to touch a person to be cheating okay it's a certain thing called emotionally cheating if your mind is elsewhere and you're thinking about someone else and you you know that's that's a form of cheating okay so pastor gray is trying to justify his actions by saying oh i never slept with this woman okay but you've done inappropriate things virtually with this so-called phone masseuse if you will F-O-H. Do y'all know what that mean? Out of here. Get out of here. F-O-H. That's what we're going to put on that. Okay? Just because you ain't physically touched this person, you are still, sir, in the wrong. You are pastor. So you are held to a certain level, okay, of responsibility out here in these streets to where your flock look up to you as a person of leadership, okay, to lead them a certain way and biblically hold them accountable for certain things. So if you can't hold yourself accountable, how can you hold someone else? Oh, that's a word right there. 
Oh, child, do I need to go get me a robe? Do I need to go get me a robe, child? That's a word right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Tasha K actually um, confronts Pastor John Gray about the female. And we have a video. I'm going to play just a little bit of it, guys. Y'all know Tasha K tends to be raw from time to time. So, yeah, put some Band-Aids on your ears and let's get through it. Here we go. Let's see. John has been in a process of, of healing, growing, because of the things that he had went through. Let me say this. There is a difference between a person that is wounded and a person that is wicked. I want everybody to type that in the chat. There is a difference between a wounded person and a wicked person. I know that Pastor John Gray is not wicked. He's wounded. Now, I'm not going to make any excuse for any wounded person. I have heard his story. I want him to share his story. He's not telling his whole story. He's not. I don't know what it's going to take for him to tell his whole story, but he needs to tell his whole story. Everybody has a story. Something has hurt and injured us all, and many of us deal with it many different types and kinds of ways. So when Tasha called me and told me what was going on, she was contacted by a young lady. This young lady alleged that she has been in an ongoing situationship with John Gray. She's never met him in person. Number one, she's never met him in person. Number two, John did not fruck her. There was no frucking. Never met in person, didn't frock. Also, something that I can add to this, since I was the one interviewing the women that was alleging things. Now I know that one of the people that I that I interviewed that said that they, you know, had sex, she was lying. Because John Gray did not have sex with her. This is why Aventur, the Avenger, did not leave him long term. She left like three months. That was the reason, and also that he was in therapy. So it wasn't like he has not been in therapy and she has not been in therapy because they have. It was easier for her to come back than she knew that John did not fuck these women. Now read how you know it's the truth. I'm going to tell you that. Kind of remind me. I'm going to tell you how we know he did not fuck any of these women. Tasha K was talking to the Avenger as a wife. Tasha K said, I will never show this video. Number one, I don't want John to hurt himself. Somebody said, well, why? What was in the video? I'm going to tell you. Number two, I don't, he has kids and he have you, and I don't want that embarrassment to be out here on the internet as a video. Aventer asked, said, you know, I want to see the video. Tasha sent it to her. We heard her reaction on the phone, and it was pain. Because although he's not for rookie, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> does that excuse? Does that excuse his behavior? What do y'all think? That because he didn't sleep with this particular person, what do y'all think? I, uh, I don't know. I don't think we can sit here and say, oh, because he didn't sleep with this person that he is without fault. I don't give a doggone, okay? If you are out here having these types of conversations, 
with this person, you, sir, need to be held accountable. You are a pastor. You know right from wrong. You have a wife at home. You knew you had children at home as well. So, like, what are we doing? You have a congregation of 11,000 people that look to you for leadership, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have 11,000 people that look to you for leadership. This is the second time that he's been in the news, you guys, for stepping out on his wife um, and soliciting sexual favors from women, okay? And each time he's tried to say that he's never um, slept with these people. Um, his wife, of course, with the first incident, she did wind up leaving, they said, for like three months. Um, but then she came back. I, th I think she thought about all the, you know, like, oh my God, all this money, all this big old house, like this lifestyle. I'm not about to leave this. Like, I'm mad. But yeah, I ain't really going nowhere like that. I'm, I'm going to go get me a hotel for a little while and then I'm going to come back. You have to hold him accountable. And then they got up there and they kind of blamed the side chick, she stood up there beside him in, in the pulpit and tried to blame the side chick for messing with her husband. But you have to also hold him accountable because he's out here. He's out here messing around. I was just like, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm, honey. We're not going to just sit here and, 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 and blame the side chick and not your husband because he he has to answer to you for the things that he's doing. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. 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 I'm going to need you to be held accountable. Okay? It says that um, Tasha and Reed, which um, Reed is also a YouTuber as well, also came together to rehash their findings and continue putting Gray on blast. It says that the latest allegations came three years ago after Gray appeared on The Real and owned up to cheating on his wife. Um, it said the Grays made headlines in 2019 after taking to the pulpit to call out the strange woman tempting the pastor. Yeah, what y'all think about that? I'm just like, I'm so sick of this, y'all. Like, he needs to be held accountable. And she's standing up there just like... And I get it, you're supposed to support your man, support your pastor. Maybe she's trying to put on this, you know united front as they call it you know and then maybe she's getting home and going upside his head who knows my thing is this i feel like he needs to step down for a bit and allow himself to get the help that he needs so that he can stop being out here making a public spectacle of himself the church uh god let's let's start there because when you when you become a pastor you you take on this 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 job to spread the gospel so how can you do that and 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 have the reputation of a pastor and be out here in all this controversy cheating on your wife this is like the second time it's that he's been caught okay we don't know if there's any other situations that that haven't come to light yet probably because it sounds like he may have some type of sexual addiction okay He's not the only pastor out here who's had to deal with this, guys. We, we've heard it in the media when it came to, you know, Bishop Eddie Long. He had some some indiscretions as well, um, where a lot of people was questioning him and kind of had, you know, the side eye as well. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on when it comes to these pastors, guys. Um, I don't know, especially when it comes to these uh, these huge churches where they have all these this large congregation. Uh, like I said, Pastor John Gray pastors 11,000 people, okay? So you got 11,000 people paying tithes and offering, all right? He's, he's being paid very well. He's being paid very, very well. So at the end of the day, guys, my God, I feel like this man needs to step down. What do y'all think? Do y'all think he needs to step down? What do y'all think about this? What do y'all think about his wife still there supporting him through all of this and staying a second time that he stepped out on her and cheated and made her look like a fool out here in these streets? Like, at one point, do you say, okay, I am, I'm done with this. Go ahead and cut your losses and, and take care of your children, y'all co-parent, and be like, look, I, I can't do this no more because either you go get help or I can't be here. 
it's too many diseases out there for one to be to be out here playing like that okay you can never fully please a person who has a sexual addiction, you guys. You just can't. You just can't. He needs help. He needs help. He needs help. And I sympathize with the fact that he was abused sexually as a child, and that he was, that he had some things that go on with him as a as a kid. Um, and and he's kind of fighting those demons right now. He needs to take some of that money, and get some of the best doctors. Uh, counselors that he can therapists that he can get to help him get over this so that he be, can become a better person a better husband a better pastor you know because those things it, it it's just gonna only get worse it's gonna only get worse what do you guys think go down in the comments and let me know what y'all think uh go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel um yeah, hit that notification bell as well. Again, this is Caramel Rail. We're going to stay out here in these streets giving them hell. I'm going to keep bringing you guys this news, honey. Because John Gray, baby, let me tell you something. You're going to need to stop, honey. This shenanigating out here in these streets with this masseuse, honey, doing these virtual these virtual uh, masseuses, massages. Woo! Child, that's too much. These little peep shows, y'all, these little virtual peep shows, that is not of the Lord. There's nowhere in the Bible where he said do a virtual uh, peep show. Giving nobody no virtual mas massages. There ain't no holy massages going on here, John Gray. Don't be out there being and over and, and doing these massages and, 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 and getting all these favors virtually. I get it. We got the pandemic out here. You know, I applaud you for doing it virtually. With the pandemic, don't be out here giving nobody the, the coronavirus because you out here shenanigating. Okay, so he said, I'm going to make this thing virtually. But now you talking about you buying a woman a car and a house and you want her to move to Atlanta? Like, child, you doing way too much. What is she doing in these virtual sessions that's making you want to buy her a house and a car, honey? She must have got down to the bone marrow on you. She done got you good, honey. What y'all think? I'm going to get off this story, y'all. Mm. Child, I'm trying to tell you. It's looking kind of cloudy out there today, child. I don't want to get struck by lightning for going in on John Gray, baby. But he, child, I had to call him out on this right here. Because, baby, yeah, y'all already know. Y'all, um, definitely go ahead and hit that like button, like I said. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we're going to keep bringing this news, y'all. Um, Let me know what y'all think.